hello everyone today is going to be whole wheat cheesy crackers for dogs to make these you will need whole wheat flour if your dog has a wheat allergy you might try oat flour water shredded cheddar cheese half a stick of butter and one egg in the food processor You'll want to add one and a fourth cups of flour. Followed by the butter. I cut the butter into small pieces just to make it more processable. Once these are in, process them up and add in the egg afterward. As always when I'm processing or mixing, uh, the bowl probably will almost always need to be scraped down to make sure that everything is mixed correctly. With that blended together, it's time to add in the water and then the egg. Given how wet the dough is, I am going to add in a little bit more flour just to get it a little bit dry. So the dough come into a ball is what I was looking for. And I ended up adding in about two cups of flour in total. If you made this without water, then you could probably get by with just the original one and a fourth or close to that. And now I'm going to be adding in the cheese and giving it one final processing. Now that it's all mixed up and it was formed in the ball and the food processor, it's time to roll it out. The flour, the surface of your cutting board or whatever it is you're going to be rolling these out on. And then you'll need to get the dough out. Once the dough is out, it's a good idea to also flour the surface of the dough in terms of reducing the stickiness as you roll it out. And I'm rolling this out to a sixteenth of an inch. Once you have the dough rolled out, you can take a cookie cutter, glass as I'm using, or whatever you wish, to cut out the crackers and put them on a greased cookie sheet. Once I have all of the dough cut and the cookie crackers out on the cookie sheet, I'll leave all the dough and continue cut cutting until there's no dough left. As you're adding the crackers on the cookie sheet, if they look a bit thick, you might want to pat them down just a little. Here is what they look like once they're all made out. And now they'll be going into the oven at 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Here's what they look like when they're done. The time I said was inaccurate. I ended up cooking them a total of about 19 minutes. However, the thinner ones I probably took out after about 15 or 16 minutes. Here's Clary having one as well as Lucy. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.